So just to recap, we're going till about 8.30, uh, at which point we will do uh, push Panjali, and then uh, go for a prashadam at the, the Bhakti Center. They're serving prashadam on the third floor. Uh, they, will, they, have already, oh, they will soon start to uh, serve prashadam at 7 o'clock. For those of you um, who maybe haven't eaten in a long time, you can go over there. Um, so I'm going to ask um, Arunjati Prabhu to come up, and uh, after her, uh, Jagwita Maharaj. Uh, Arunjati uh, was initiated in 1969. Yeah, 1969. Um, at the, the age of 17, she found herself uh, in Tompkins Square Park chanting Hare Krishna with Srila Prabhupada. A friend had brought you, is that, is that right? Yeah. So she was one of the fortunate few people to have that particular experience. Um, among her services, uh, she typed uh, Srila Prabhupada's manuscripts and she cared for his deities. So, very wonderful. Amrititi, Prabhu. Krishna Bistaya Bhutale, Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namane, Namaste Sadaswati Deve Gaudavani Pajarane, Nivishesha Shinivari Pastracha Desha Dharana. I wasn't sure what I was going to speak about today. Um, I often have a problem. Actually, it's not so easy for me to speak. And um, anyhow, I was looking on Facebook, and I saw um, Swaru. He he put something on about Prabhupada that he had offered previously. So I thought, oh, I can do that too. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I thought to recite this poem to you that. <clears throat> I offered to Srila Prabhupada in 1976. I went to Mayapur uh, during the Gaur Purnima festival. And um, I went up to Prabhupada's room for darshan. And um, I had just come, me and, and um, Prajuna. We um, had been in Sri Lanka for a few months because we had to leave India. And so um, we just returned, and um, I came to see Prabhupada. And I was sitting in his room, and I gave him a poem that I had written. And it was in the form of an acrostic. Um, down the left side, I had to explain. Down the left side, it said, All glories to Srila Prabhupada, the, the first letter of each line of the poem said that. So that was in big letters and then the rest of the words were in small letters. So you could see that it said that and then there was the poem. So I'm going to just recite that poem. It's a very simple poem, but I would say that um, I still feel this poem. If I can see it, I'll <laughs> take off my glasses there. Actually, I, I think I know it by heart, but I thought I might forget it when, while I'm up here. <laughs> Hold up, let me see if I can just recite it. All glories to Jagat Guru. Life has come from me to you. Love, you taught me how to do. Govinda, who is color blue. Lost I was before you came, O giver of the holy name. Roasting in the fire of hell, I was in a deep, dark well. Every day was so depressing, such it is I am confessing. Total misery and pain, only lost nowhere again. So it was until one day, Radha Krishna came my way. In the form of Hari Nam, love was awakened, ending calm. 
all because of your love for Jiva, Prabhupada, greater than Brahma and Shiva. Remembering your lotus feet, all can be saved from defeat. By your grace, you came to me, have taught me of reality. Under your feet, I beg to stay. Pleasing you is the only way. Always may I remember the goal. Devotional service, pure from the soul. So I offered this written poem to Prabhupada and he uh, appreciated the acrostic. I'm not sure whether he'd seen an acrostic before or not, but um, he appreciated the sentiments that I expressed as well as um, th that form of poetry. And um, at the time, in his room, I said, Srila Prabhupada, I wish that I could be with you always. I wish that I could go with you wherever you go. And Srila Prabhupada, at that time, acknowledged that sentiment. He didn't say anything, but he smiled and nodded his head. And um, that was um, around March 1976. And um, then a few months later, I came back to the U.S. and um, was in L.A. when Prabhupada was there. Um, at that time, I was complaining. My son um, was in the Gurukula, and um, I thought he should have learned how to read by then. And, so I made a complaint, and uh, my husband, Prajuni, said something to Prabhupada about it, and Prabhupada said, well, tell Arundhati that she can take him out and teach him herself. So that's what I did. I took him out of the Gurukula and started teaching him how to read and write myself. And then um, a few weeks or a month later, I, I'm not sure at the time, but anyhow, it's back um, the time of the Ratha Yatra, in 1976 in New York, and um, I followed Srila Prabhupada there, and um, one day, Radha Balaba came up to me and he said, Srila Prabhupada wants you to join his traveling party. Um, he wants to do a lot of translation work and um, he wants somebody specifically to be there to uh, do the, sorry, thanks for not thinking so well. He wants somebody to be there full time to transcribe his tapes. So I got invited at that time. And, and actually he said, Anuruta can come to my son. Um, he could join as well. So, Anyhow, it's just um, an example. I'm just wanted to give you a little bit of a taste of having some personal association with Srila Prabhupada, which nothing can compare to in, to in my heart and mind. Um, and um, when we were traveling with Prabhupada, what I just told you about when I said I wish that I could be with him all the time, I felt like you know, I had this very strong desire and Srila Prabhupada fulfilled that desire. And uh, then in the midst of the traveling, I traveled with him for the last year and a half that he was here on the planet. And um, during that time, at, at one point we were in Hyderabad in India and um, Palika was his main cook then. And um, I started thinking, oh, how wonderful it would be to cook for Srila Prabhupada. Um, and I had cooked for him a little bit, you know, made an offering here and there along the way. Um, but not, I never was a full-time cook. And um, within a few weeks of me thinking that, <laughs> Palika got eczema on her hands, and which happened to her every now and then. And Srila Prabhupada didn't want her to cook for him during that time. So he said, train up Arundhati to, to cook for me. 
So I, got, I had my desire fulfilled again. And I got to cook many times in India for Srila Prabhupada, um, probably for a few months altogether. Different things kept on happening that Srila Pra Prabhupada wanted me to cook, even though Palika's hands got better. Like one time he didn't want a single woman, she was single at that time, he didn't want a single woman um, to be traveling with him at one point, so he said I should cook then because I was with Prajuna. And um, at another time, Palika and Jamuna and Shruti Rupa, they uh, wanted to travel, I forget where they went, I don't know if it was South India or somewhere, they wanted to travel to learn more cooking, because they were all already very expert cooks. and um, So they asked Prabhupada if they could go, and they said, oh, Arundhati can cook for you. <laughs> so these different things kept on happening, and, and I truly had my desire fulfilled, it, and it was very wonderful to um, have that service, both of those services, to type Srila Prabhupada's books, and to cook for him, they were both very special, the most wonderful times in my life. So, Hare Krishna, thank you.